Hi and welcome to part 18 of building a SAS using Django and Vue.js. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy this project to a server. I created a local server, but it's, it will be the same as using a server on DigitalOcean, Linode or any other VPS providers. I have Ubuntu 20. 0 0.04 running and that's what I will be using. So the first thing I want to do is to create a new user. So here to the right I have logged in to the server. So the first thing I want to do is to create a new user. User add. I want the user to be called Skinel user and I want the home folder to be just to make this wider so you see it in one line. I also have a user group called web apps you can create like that. Group add. You can create a group by running this command sudo group add dash dash system web apps. And when that's done, you run sudo user add system group id web apps shell bin bash home is this folder and then the name of the user and then we can create this folder webapps slash sknell mk there webapps sknell like that and then i can go to that folder and what i want to do here is to create a virtual environment just like we did on the local server virtual env python 3.6.4 like that so now we should have dev running what i want to do now is to cr is to get all the packages we have installed locally and install them on the server to get all the packages we have here we say pip freeze and then I can just copy this. So these are all the packages we have installed locally and the versions. So here I can create a new file called req.txt for requirements and save that. And then activate the environment. And then I can just say pip install dash r rec.txt so now we will have a or we will have a environment just the same as a locally like that then I can move this skinel folder from locally to this server you can do this with rsync scp or you can do it via get github or something similar I just want to use scp scp r sknell and I want to move it to root at one and two this is just the IP address for my server so you have to set it to your server's IP okay so now we should have that in the root folder as you can see it's placed there and then I can cop move it from there mv root skinel like that cd skinel you can try to run it python manage run server skinel Com. I probably need to set the IP for the server. No. Can we try this? This allowed host is correct because I need to add this to settings.py. 
SKNIL settings and inside allowed host I can also add SKNIL.com which will be the domain for the server like that run the server again and now it's running here so that's perfect then the next step will be is to install a package called gunicorn which is a server we use for hosting django i will use this as in combination with nginx because nginx is much better at handling media files and similar now as I pip installed G unicorn and then I can run this by saying G unicorn sknil.wsgi application and bind it to the server IP. Okay, it started, it's good. And it's still working. Perfect. Next is to create the start file or script for gunicorn which we'll use later so i go back here and into bin touch gunicorn start i'll just copy this from a different project bin unicorn start like that vig unicorn start the first is the name of this project which is skinel Nil, just replacing this Skinil user so we set the directory for the root of the project the socket file this will be created automatically the user the group number of workers which is number of number of cpu cores times two plus one the settings module and the wsgi module this is placed inside the SCNIL folder and this is just code for starting the project so I can save this we can try it no I need to chmod plus x g unicorn start to make it runnable I can try it so now it's running again that's perfect but it's not bind to any address yet so in order to make this run at all time I want to use something on supervisor so I just want to change the writes to this folder to the SCNIL user so there won't be any problems I want to create the logs folder as well in this directory so to install supervisor you just say apt install supervisor I already have it installed but this is the command to install it when that's done you go to etc supervisor conf like that just copy this you can go skinil.conf 
So we set the program name to SKNIL, the command to run, which is the script we just created, which user to use, SKNIL user, and then which file to log to. So when you have added all of this, we say supervisor CTL reread to check the it's available supervisor update. So now we can see if it's running and it has started. So that means everything is okay for now. But we still can't access this from the outside world. We need to use Nginx as a proxy to reach this. If you haven't installed Nginx on the server, you just say apt install Nginx. And when that's done, you go to etc Nginx sites enabled. Oh, you created in sites available be one of these no I don't want this so what we do here is to create an upstream which is the proxy SKNIL app server you can call it whatever you want this just points to the socket file we created when we used supervisor to run the g unicorn start script oops so it's supposed to be python the address for me is sknill.com i listen to port 80 if you want to ssl you need to 443 and some other stuff here and then i say sknill app server so then I need to enable this site and then as I create a symlink sites available SKNIL like that and then I need to restart nginx service nginx restart yes I think everything should be okay now so if I try to go to skinel.com, the project is running as it should. So I can log in. And everything is working. So now I have deployed Skinel. And that was the last part of this video series. There are still lots of things we could do, like setting up a database. Oh, sorry, MySQL or something similar, and you can definitely do something with the with the design. The landing page could be better and contain more information and similar. So I hope you enjoyed the series and that you will keep building on this project. I might come with a follow-up video and do something other cool with this project.